Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. Dingy, episode number three. In the last episode, we went ahead and we had our quest for water, which you'll see, guys. You'll see here. Sorry about that, I had the wrong screen focused. <laughs> we found our bottle of water, and I was gonna go ahead and construct the power off camera, but I went on a tangent and started digging. Um, and that gave me an idea for the next episode. We're gonna call this the ring around the market. So we're gonna create a big ring. So I'm gonna dig out here. All right, probably from this little spoke here to here and and somehow try to fill in the gaps here um, and try to get like a grasp, like a, like a um, area for our like bootstrap base we're gonna have the beginning here so um haven't faced any biters in this area because i guess it's the close proximity to the market um but i am gaining experience here at the levels i'm still believe i'm still on four uh i am on level four yes uh, and then about 74 percent uh, to level five here, which is just a light armor. Eh, maybe we, if we can buy the light armor, maybe we don't have to worry about making it, right? It's only forty iron plates. Eh. Okay. Anyway, um, so it's been a couple days since I've jumped into this game. Um, so I was playing a little bit before I started recording to. Um, regain my uh, focus. <clears throat> so again, we're just digging here. Hopefully, we can, we can find some resources near, or we can open up like a little room or something. Like this area here was the room, uh, and I just started mining uh, about here. This all this I've mined since then. Such a slow process. Right? <laughs> all right. I think this number up here is um, biter evolution factor. Um, I thought it was the mining speed, but I'm, I don't think it is. I think it's the evolution factor, 18.3%. That, that would make sense. So that's what we're gonna go with. I mean, I, I know for a fact that it's just the right feeling that that's correct. Uh, all right, so this is a slow process. I'm going to go ahead and work on something else, and I could do more of that off camera. But that was going to be the main gist of this episode, would be the ring around the market. Okay, so... We've powered that for a little bit. Right, let's not get sidetracked here with powering up miners. Let's go ahead and get this power going, shall we? Okay. <clears throat> oh, perfect. There's coal here. 200. Oh, that actually might do us some good here for the start at least. Do I have enough iron even mined? No I don't to make the necessary items that I need. Well I got enough copper there. Alright, what do we need here? We need a boiler. We do have enough steam engine 
And some pipes, right? Okay. Um, do I want to steal one of those miners? No, but we can steal this one that's got a red X on it. Look at that. Perfect timing. Okay. Uh, let's just uncover some more of this here. I knew that was going to happen. And it made me jump. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have 71 there, and we have... Oh, so we have a decent amount there. We can do this, right? And theoretically, we can put the boiler... I want to say... Do we want to do that? How do we want to do this? Okay, let's put this away for a second. We have these two that we want to mine up, right? And the water is going to come in from there. Alright, so let's dig this out here. Gotta do more brighters. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this one will be. Oh, getting lucky. Whew. This big one is definitely going to have some. Right. Yep, what did I say, right? I did call it. All right, so that's going to be our grounds there. Do we want to... Do we want to, I'm sorry guys, I'm just thinking about what this, we're going to do here. Do we want to just do this? Get rid of that. And... We could do this for now, for the time being, right? Just jump start that. Yep, here we go. I have power. I don't know how long that's gonna last us, but oh my goodness, we have power. All right, let's make ourselves a lab here. And get this going. Get this going. Let's not fool around anymore with any of this stuff. Just get it all. And I think I have. Yep. Okay. Not mining a lot of coal, but power is there. Power. We got a lab. Let's throw the lab in here for power. Do we not have power? Oh, we don't have water. Oh. Okay, uh, that would be good if I actually hooked up the <laughs> water pipes. <laughs> uh, let's make a few of these so we can walk through this. That would make sense, right? Okay. 
Okay, while we're waiting for that, let's go grab some more iron and copper. And that is out. I think we got some here, right? Let's just do that for now. Give you this. Shuffling the coal around this craziness. But most of it deserves to go into smelting because that's what is next on our list here. All right, we could do that. We can also pick up and throw that in there. And do that. Okay. Um, still did not hook up the water. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, and then we just need one, two, three. I think it's three. There we go. Performance, available performance, and that's in out of the red. Okay, so let's make ten of those, like I should have done a long time ago. Do you? you <clears throat> right I wanted to build that here but that didn't Yeah, see, I wanted to line this up with that. But I guess when this is out of coal, we'll do that. Because then there's some more coal down here, too. I think this gun turret should travel with me. Oh, let's put the gun turret there. Okay, we'll just make all the ammo there that we can make. Okay, and then put this 15 in there. We have 27 there, we could put all those in there. Take that out, let's put that in there. Need some more copper. I know I should be automating all this, but right now it's just faster in my mind to do it like this. Okay, um, stone, and we need at least that for now. We gotta get more miners mining the coal up. Okay, so now we have power, we can actually research automation. So let's go ahead and choose our first research here. Automation, start research, perfect. So guys, I'm back. All right, um, a little update. I went ahead and laid the foundations for the pillars here on the base. And I've started mining some patches here for necessary resources. I went ahead and moved power over here off the little um, iron vein that we have going on here. I um, did um, dig some more down here. Um, but I've hit 20% uh, biter evolution. So we're gonna start seeing those red biters now. So I wanna start digging near, closer to the market place and stay on um, goal for the uh, ring around the market. Um, and I'll show you guys that update in just a second here. I want to just fix this here we're gonna put this there instead mine this iron here just because we can all right and we'll go ahead and put this there okay enough fiddling with that uh, my turret is here let me go ahead and pick that up and place that down here we're just gonna dig a little bit 
down here. No, not down there. Right here for the ring around the base. Okay. Uh, let me cut that in half and do that. Okay. Um, now I did get. Oh no, I did not get the next level up. I am level five. I did not get level six yet for the market. Um, obviously, this experience bar gets bigger and look gets longer and longer as you level up so it takes longer for us to dig to get to the next level for obvious reasons <laughs> i like the whole uh, idea about the experience points as you dig so, uh, instead of stone like in previous versions of this scenario but anyway back to that i am on the lookout for a a copper vein or a patch. I've not stumbled upon one of those yet, but I mean, it's early game, obviously, so these little pecks of copper here and there will be okay. It will get us going. Um, we're not going to need that much copper at the beginning of the game, at least. Not until we get like closer to like red circuits and such when we need it. A lot of copper. Well, don't get me wrong. We do use a lot of copper for circuits, but it starts ramping up when we get to advanced circuits. All right. So again, we're just gonna go ahead and make this ring. We're gonna connect this to. I want to do over here, um, and I know I should have connected this to that, but I went ahead and did this side instead. And I don't think we're going to encounter any biters this close to the market. <clears throat> and yes, I think I should have increased my digging speed a little bit before I started the series. But I don't, I don't want you to guys think I'm cheating. And so I'm gonna just going to leave it the way it is. I think it is a lot faster than what it was when I first started. So, and I made significant progress in digging already, at least I think. I know it's been for multiplayer and multiple players doing this. Oh, it looks like we got some more iron coming up too. Probably just a little speck. Yeah, some coins too, that's good. Yeah, see, this was just a little speck of iron. That's okay. And I think I'm going to go and show you guys my ideas. Digging is getting a little boring. <laughs> okay, so let's pull up the map here and zoom in. So it looks like there is, oh, that's gone too. It looks like there's going to be maybe little specks of resources here. Uh, there's not going to be like a vein or iron vein anywhere close to here. So I think I'm going to mine this whole area out. Might do some of it off camera in between episodes and start creating. Um, smelting columns going from top to bottom this way. I'll probably make um, two iron and one copper and then start like a um, not a bus but you know just a bootstrap base down here maybe going south. That's the plan. <clears throat> But we'll, you know, how plans are in fact. <laughs> <You know? laughs> there are, they usually don't work out or they change as episodes go on. So I do have some science backs. We did get automation. Um, so we'll go ahead and research the next thing.
which will be um, optics. Let's get that out of the way. And then we'll do turrets afterwards. And which reminds me, let's make the next 10. Add science packs. Okay. Get all this coal up in our inventory. These um, chests are not going to last long with our current setup here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just mine this out. I have a feeling that that's not going to hold. So let's put that in there in its place. There we go. And then we can just mine the rest of this out. Get this all out of the way. So it did um, start smelting some stone because we have a significant amount coming in from these miners here. Um, so the plan is going to be is to pay, start paving around here. Um, in a circle going around the market. And I'm going to increase these to four instead of just three. So that's five right now but going out this way this way that way is going to be <clears throat> we'll probably have to figure this out because this is five right interesting okay didn't, didn't even think about that one two three Am I just gonna redo the grid here? I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna have to do with this. I mean, it could be a hallway with just walls. We'll see, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll just keep the smelting going here. Between this and that. Okay, optics is done, and we have some more science packs to put in. All right, let's go ahead and do turrets, and let's queue up stone walls. Okay. Let's make those 10 packs of the stone walls. And that's pretty much the science we're going to do for this episode. <clears throat> like I said, I want to get that ring done. Uh, okay. Let's get some wall. walls here. It's Soon I'll be able to make them myself instead of <clears throat> right, so this ring on top is done. I'm just gonna go ahead and mine the bottom part here. Right. Oh, and this is done too, we can pick that up. Um Obviously, I think we should be using as many miners as we can, right? So let's do this then. Okay, let's see what that gets us. More coal. Stone walls is, oh, yep, stone walls is next. Turrets is done, so we can finally craft those turrets. Thank you. Let's make another one. And just check up on smelting here, which is just 
still really puny. <laughs> hey guys, so I decided to bring you back at this point here. Um, we've gone ahead and finished the ring on the southern part here. Um, I came up to some biters around this part here. Uh, so we're at 21% evolution now. Um, that's a fair distance between the market and where the biters start appearing. So I would assume that this distance here, probably about here, I'll start seeing it further south. So this should be give us this should give us a pretty good like starting area uh, before the biters start appearing. Let's just go ahead and fill up some more smelting while we're in the neighborhood. All right. Um, I think it's safe to say that I can start smelting some more iron here. Just get that going. I'll make this off camera. I'll make it look better. Um, and like I said, I want to start making the columns up here, but I have to dig all this out. Um, so I might go ahead and just spend an hour or so and off camera and just do that. Can't believe how long it's been taking me to <laughs> get this episode recorded. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and put these 10 science packs in for the stone walls so we can go ahead and make them. Uh, let's go ahead and craft some assembly machines now. I do want to do something really quick before I end this episode. Um, we want to automate some red science, right? Um, and I think I want to go ahead and do that here. Oh, bummer, it's not going to fit. And I got some ores on the ground. Maybe this is not a good spot. All right, let's pick this up then. Um, hold on, where do I want to put this? Let's get rid of that one. Oh, look at that, this miner's done. That's awesome, okay. Um, yeah, let's just put that there, I guess. Um, and then we can do... That's fine, too. Let's just wait for the stone walls to be done. And then we'll move this science lab here. What you got here? We still got quite a bit to go there. That's fine. Okay. And you guys, let's pick up your coal. Some of your iron. Fill it up. Alright, stone walls done. Pick up your iron. Get your iron cooking here. Alright, All right, stone walls is done. We can go ahead and start making automating that from smelting to assembly for stone walls. Um, I think I want to put this here. Yeah, let's do that for now. I'll pick you up. Let's move you as well. And then we'll start making um, Think I could do this right, and then you can make those for me, and you can make those for me. Ah, uh, yes, slowly but surely, right? On a beaten path. Right. Let's just do that, prevent the cave in. Sixty-nine there. 
Um, do I have any miners? No, I don't. I'm using them. I, oh, this is out now. Oh boy. I uh, was not anticipating that yet. Okay, we're gonna have to. I guess we're gonna have to do this kind of system for now. Do we like it? No. Does it work? Yes, it does. Oh, I see what I did. I did it wrong. I should have just did it like this. So, the coal will be on the right side. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's give them three stacks. That's for power. And then we can just start putting in whatever we get from here into power. So now and so that's all done. Okay. Okay, now we can start crafting all this necessary goodbins here. Let's do some more copper, smelting, and then obviously iron. Heavy on the iron here. So we have so much of it. I think that is going, well, let's just melt some stone while we're at it here. Put this back in from before, all right? But other than that, I think that's gonna wrap up this episode. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio Diggy Scenario. Um, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and consider throwing me a like for this video. It greatly helps me and the channel out. And if you want to stay up with everything Eddie Man, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Um, I hope you guys uh, really enjoy the series as much as I'm enjoying making the series. Uh, it's it's been um, it's gotten some really good uh, comments uh, from the community and some um, oh, you know some more views than I expected which is a good thing <laughs> so keep those you know keep, keep those clicks going and um, I'm just glad and you know so thankful to, for all the support from the community and such um, and you know as as long as that happens then uh, the future of this channel will, will be strong and you know very exciting stuff will come out to it um, stay tuned for, for this uh, series, and I do have my Satisfactory series with uh, Nexus Gaming, uh, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link on the end screen of this video, uh, so you guys can also check that out as well. But right now, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Factorio, and like always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.